Hello, it's Lisa here with a haul video from um, my local Goodwill store today. And um, picked up a few items. Some things I'll keep, some things I'll try to resell. And again, I'm not an expert on anything. I just kind of pick up what I like. Starting with this little guy, he's a little Eskimo. Uh, I just thought he was too cute to leave. And I mean, 89 cents, yeah, I'm gonna take him home and see what I can do with it. There's a little tiny scratch right there. And his twine around his basket's coming loose. But other than that, I just think he's adorable. And hopefully somebody else will too. Um, oh gee, me and milk glass lamps. Here is a hand painted um, lamp. I'll probably end up keeping it. I just have a hard time parting with my milk glass. Came with this really kind of cheesy, crappy uh, shade, but I'm, I know that doesn't go with it. So we'll just probably toss that in the trash and find something new. Uh, next, my little scarecrow. I put him down about three times and kept going back for him. I just think he's so cute. He's one of those, you know, paint your own ceramics kind of dealios. He was 250 and so let's say 1977 painted so again I'll probably sell him I'm not sure um, we'll see this here is an Avon cologne bottle it's a little mailbox $1.50 I do have several of these cologne bottles just different shapes and sizes I call it a collection but I don't display it so <laughs> I don't know what that's called I think that's called hoarding maybe I need to get them out so everybody can see them but I thought the mailbox was really cool another piece of milk glass I would not have bought this except that orange was the color of the week so it was half price it was only $1.50 um, again I will keep it Got to clean it up a little bit, but looks in really great condition. Next, we got this um, 25th anniversary Disney glass with uh, Typhoon Lagoon and what is it, Blizzard Beach? It's got Goofy, yeah, Blizzard Beach. So um, it was 89 cents, so it was a deal. I probably will sell it. I do have a couple other Disney glasses though, so you never know. It might end up in my cabinet, but most likely I'll sell it. Um, I'm, I always get burned on purses. I don't know why I buy them, but this one just kind of filled me. It's a nice little clutch purse. Um, it doesn't have a strap to make it, you know, a knot, a clutch, but it is Stella and Dot, and it actually still has like the original tag in there and it was like it was never used or if it was it was used very very gently um $2.89 so I didn't think that was a bad price I might uh, try to put that on Poshmark see how it goes lately I've been having luck with um Tupperware <laughs> weird especially this old vintagey stuff but we got the jello mold again it was uh orange is the color of the week so it was only $1.25 it has all the pieces, <clears throat> I believe, <laughs> to make your jello mold. Does anybody still eat that? I do not like jello personally, but. And then this uh, retro orange pitcher. I know I had this when we were kids um, in my mom's kitchen. I mean, it was only 89 cents, so sure, why not? We'll see how it does on eBay. And then there's this. It was all taped up and I couldn't tell what it was. I still don't know exactly what it is. I think it's for potpourri. It's just a little glass bowl. Of course, they put the sticker over the sticker so I can't read what it said. And it was 45 cents because it was 89 cents with the fit of the mouth. But it came with these two lids and I just think they are so pretty. There's a hummingbird and the roses. And I, I'm imagining that's what this is. It's just a potpourri bowl. You throw some dried flowers in there and put the lid on and let, let it smell. <laughs> so I think my grand total was something like $18 today. Again, there's a few things that will end up in, on my shelves. But a couple things that I will try selling. 
eBay, Poshmark. <clears throat> Thanks. We'll see you soon.